Here's five things that you should know about 3D printing, but maybe you didn't, especially you beginners. Now to quickly avoid any confusion, this video is things that you should already know, maybe didn't. It's focused on beginners, but if you did know them all, then I challenge you to actually put something in the comments that maybe people didn't know about. And if it is something really good, then I'll take a screenshot of it and I'll include you in the next video. Starting off, we have these bad boys right here. Put it in front of the face. So there we go. The, the glue sticks, the bamboo labs, or whatever brand your printer is, glue sticks. You don't need them. They're a complete waste of money. You do not need them. And I have only been using these this whole time. I would never buy another one of those bamboo labs glue sticks. That's the one that came with my printer. However, these random old cheapest that I could possibly find glue sticks from the works in the UK, if you if you guys uh, want to use the exact same one, if it'll focus. These are absolutely fine. I bought a pack of these when I got my 3D printers like nearly three years ago now, and I literally have never ran out of them. There's just a pack of different sizes and they work perfectly. What I do is just apply a thin layer one way across the whole thing and then apply it across the other way so it makes a nice coverage and then that is it. All you need are these regular old glue sticks. You do not need the expensive Bamboo Labs or whatever brand you have. Don't waste your money. Let's get a little controversial with this one. Don't touch your print beds with your fingers. Make sure you wash your print beds every single print man that is it, it's it, i don't get where this comes from i swear i i never look at look how bad this is this has been probably about a month worth of printing and i just don't i, I don't even care it'll be it'll be absolutely fine this will be absolutely fine once it heats up again the glue gets all melted and stuff it's not gonna be a problem now i never have adhesion issues with this at all now maybe this is because it's bamboo labs i don't know but either way you don't need to worry too much about if you touch the print bed when you're taking something off or if you are going to be washing it every single time. In fact, I would argue that I have more issues with print adhesion or I used to when I used to clean this thing if I thought there was an issue. Instead, just whack another bit of glue on where it didn't stick and just it's fine it's absolutely fine the only time i will wash this is if for example there's like bits of dust or whatever on there but i mean it, it doesn't really happen enough for my printers because i use it all the time 24 7 if there's dust or dirt or bits of plastic that's stuck to it and it's affecting my other prints the print quality of the first layer or something then i will of course wash it and make sure that's fine but otherwise if you're just printing a functional thing or if you're printing something that the very first layer doesn't like it's, it's not going to get ruined it's fine i'm going to put this back on right now and i'm going to run a print on it and it, I'm not going to clean it. It doesn't matter. My fingers have been all over it. It'll be absolutely fine. Just going to quickly interrupt the video to ask you guys to give that sub button a click if you are enjoying this video. And also let me know in the comments if you do like this style of video as well. It is different to the focus that I was initially going with this channel. And I'll still be going with that focus. But I thought this could be a cool little in-between filler as well while working on the other stuff. But this is also a brand new channel with only 10 subs. So every sub does make a world of difference. And I very much appreciate it. Speaking of bed adhesion though, this is by far the best setting for bed adhesion in my opinion. I've just grabbed this off of the uh, like online bamboo labs Thing. and this will work on pretty much everything right if you're not even on the slicer i'm sure you'll have an option for this however the best thing for bed adhesion in my opinion is brim i use brim all the time not even just for bed adhesion which we'll cover in another video but uh, brim allows you to add basically something on the outside of your print to stick it down to the build plate just a little bit better so if you are worried that you're printing something say like this cartridge here this this is, could quite easily fall over or like you know get displaced because there's not that much of the actual item stuck to the bed so you add on the brim put about five uh, whatever five usually works perfectly i usually do about five sometimes i'll do seven if i'm like really concerned if it's something really thin uh, and then just just press slice plate and you'll notice that there's like a little outline here around the actual object but there is a tiny tiny gap between it where it does slightly stick to it but it peels off beautifully so easily it just this will just peel off and you'll have no problems with bed adhesion in most situations when you're printing awkward things like this as for like actual print quality this stuff peels off beautifully like i said and it, it really has never been an issue for me and i sell plenty of things on etsy and merch from other channel and that sort of stuff right so it's really not a big deal Moving on, we're going to talk about your infill pattern. Now, down here on the left-hand side in Bamboo Labs, you'll see that there's your option to change what pattern you want to print the infill or the inside part of your actual prints, right? Now, there's so many to pick from, and you can think like, what? what why? Why would I want to, what, what, what does it matter? And it can matter. For certain things, it can definitely change the strength of it or the quality of it in, in, in certain situations. However, 99.9% .9 of the time, I promise you, I use gyroid 
for like everything like like absolutely everything and the person who made this also picked gyroid so they know the secret however the reason i use gyroid is when i was using grid when i first started i kept having to deal with this grindy like clicking noise and i was like what's going on i found out that the nozzle was basically dragging its way across the actual grid print because it overlaps Gyroid is so great because it will not overlap itself when it does the actual print. It'll go along these lines here and then it'll come back along these lines here and it, it never overlaps itself and you never have a chance of knocking prints off of the bed. Speaking of infill, the next thing we're going to talk about is, uh, well, well, infill, but the actual density of the infill. This is a huge tip. It's going to save you materials. It's going to save you time, which will save you money. Honestly, it's definitely worth knowing about. And that is certain things will not need to have the default amount of infill density right now in bamboo labs the default at least for me i don't know if it changes depending on your printer or not but 15 percent is the default that i always have now when i slice this plate you're going to notice that mr t-rex here uh, which is a wall mounted sort of t-rex that i printed for my son a while ago is actually going to take a hell of a long time you notice here it says it's going to take nine hours and 31 minutes that's a hell of a long time it's also going to be 250 grams of uh, pla or just under 250 grams but there's no reason, and in fact, I don't want this T-Rex to be in 15% density. One, if I bring it down to something like 7%, it'll print absolutely fine. Yes, it will be a little bit weaker, but this is going on a wall. I'm not throwing it around. I'm not moving it. I'm not playing with it. And it doesn't have a function other than to sit on the wall and look pretty. But another thing to consider as well is this will make it lighter, meaning that it can go on the wall way easier. And if you use mounting tape instead of like screws and stuff, it'll be all good. Now, just from changing this from 15% to 7%, we are on 6 hours and 43 minutes and 178 grams of PLA. This is huge. This is this is not even like 6 hours and 43 minutes. I don't even remember what the minutes and the 9 hours was, but it, it doesn't matter because the amount that has changed is huge. So, keep in mind when you're actually printing things that you can change the infill density and it'll be absolutely fine like certain prints like this it doesn't matter i could probably even go lower on this like look at this this looks absolutely fine i could probably drop this down to like five percent and we wouldn't have any issues but even if you just left it at seven which i think is what i did last time it, it's, it's all good no one's gonna be touching this it's out of reach you want it to be light anyway and also if you are printing stuff to actually ship and post to someone consider the fact that you'll be saving weight as well so saving money in postage and stuff as well so that was five things that i thought was worth sharing from things that i've learned along the way from doing 3d printing if you can think of anything else that is worth sharing then please do share it in the comments i'll take a screenshot of yours and i'll pop it in another one but i thought that whenever i learn stuff or whenever something comes to my head and i'm thinking oh that's actually something that was worth sharing then i'll pop that video up and share it with you guys as well because when i was starting off i didn't even know where to look and a lot of stuff was explained in like technical terms that i didn't really understand and i was like what i don't even know what i'm looking at it's really hard to get into 3d printing i still have a ton to learn as well so anything you guys share will also help me out too but uh, maybe i'll make a full sort of super easy beginner sort of guide and and dumb down everything super easy i don't know let me know if you guys want that sort of thing it could be useful I'll do some more of these as well whenever they pop into my head and I'll make another list or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll be getting back to actually making stuff and showing them off in the next video. Catch you later, guys. Bye.